Hey guys, welcome back to Tracy's Place. I am at Kroger's picking up my click list. I am so excited. This is my first time. Um, so I was skeptical about it because I like to pick up my produce or pick out my produce and certain things myself, my bread and stuff like that. But I have two friends and I know that they are particular and both of them love Kroger's pickup. So I said, you know, they have raved about it so much. I am going to try it. And then uh, Donna's Journey, she does Walmart and I think Kroger click list and pick up too. And I kind of got even more interested in it too. So I am here at Kroger's. I just pulled up. So guys, while I follow the directions on this sign to pick up my groceries, you go ahead and follow along as I did the steps on the click list Kroger site. And I'll be right back. Okay, so here I am. I'm at my desktop. I like to do it here. I like doing things here at my desktop, like especially for the first time, because I can see everything so much better than on my phone. So here I am. Um, I've already logged in to Kroger.com, put in my ID and everything. So um, coupons that I have, like my digital coupons, I have already loaded them and so I'm going to go ahead and show you. So here I have gone into the shop area. You just want to go up to the top and click on shop and you go down to grocery. And you can start your shopping. It says start my cart. So you go ahead and pick out things. It either bring, if you're a Kroger shopper, it'll like bring up a lot of things that you have already purchased or, um, that they kind of know you're familiar with or that you shopped for. Um, you can go to your lists if you have made out a list already. And that way you can have things stored up and have a list already going. Mine is called weekly shopping. So it's, you can make up a list of things you normally get so that each week you don't have to make a, a list from scratch and it'll just be more, more quick. If you've already made a list, that's great then you'll have something standard to go by if you have not made a shopping list here what you want to do is title it mine is called weekly shopping and that way you can go ahead and put things in that you normally buy and that way from week to week you have a standard list and it won't be you know real hard for you to do your list every week or do your shopping every week you already have a standard list and you just add things that you need that might not be normal on your list that you already have and this is my list right here that I have made out I went ahead and did it for you so that um, I can actually show you the actual steps okay so I've made out my list let me show you how okay these are some of the general things that are on my list weekly some of the things that I buy weekly and you're going to be able to either add or take away so, what you want to do when making out your list, you can call it whatever you want. You can make a lot of lists. Weekly shopping, um, holiday shopping, different things like that. So, you can create a list right here. And then this is a manage list. Okay, so you create a new list. If you're just creating, click create a new list. And it's going to bring you here to start adding items to your list. So what you want to do is just type in things that you normally get and um, oh, I'll, I'll, I'll do salad dressing. Uh, you all know I love the Panera. Let's see if I can hold this camera steady. I should have had my tripod down here. Panera Fuji Apple dressing okay so I go over here and I click the search and it brings it right up so I'm not going to add it to my cart I'm not ready to add to my cart yet I'm just making out my list okay so that I can then make out my cart you can do it in any order you want to but it's easier to go ahead and make your list and then start adding things to your cart so anyway um, you don't click add to cart you're going to click the plus sign right here which this is a list so you're just going to 
click there it says one item okay so this this has been added to my list so once I refresh it this will be on the list so I already refreshed it and to refresh it I just hit the refresh button and as I scroll down now I find that it is right there on my list up to the right in the corner it gives you a list summary basically and how many items you have on your list um, and your estimated subtotal of what the item generally costs so you just go right up here to your name and click my purchases and here it's going to tell you things that you have already gotten you know sometimes you have your standard list but you're thinking okay what else do I need so it tells you things that you have already gotten and it brings up your recent items that you have purchased it's very easy to shop okay and I'm going to go up here because I've already shopped I didn't want to take you through the whole process I've already picked out my items so this is my shopping cart and this is what I'm I'm getting today right here and so you just go all the way down and then okay. up at the top it lets you pick out the date and the time that you want to pick up so today is September 25th and I will be picking up between 5 to 6 p.m. and um, you can do allow substitutions on everything I didn't do everything I did do the ones I wanted or would allow substitutions for I did that below it allows you to do per item so my total my approximate total will be 105.22 so I am going to go ahead and check out okay and it has some things for you to fill out here I have entered the information and I'm going to go ahead and click submit order after entering my credit card number I clicked submit the order was confirmed and more instructions was given and that way I was able to receive text messages about my order all right guys so I followed the directions on the sign which just told me to call a certain number I called the number a gentleman picked up and he asked my name my first and last name and uh, so I told him my name and he asked would I accept the substitutions that they had for me because two items were not in stock so they had to substitute I told him yes I accepted the substitutes and then he told me um, oh he asked what spot I was in because they have a mark like one two three four five six and uh, I told him what spot I was in and he said we'll be right out with your groceries so he'll be out in a second and I will let you all see some of the process if I can and so here he comes So you guys, he's loading everything up in the trunk right now. Would you like the bread up here with you? Yes. So there's the young man who did my groceries. So I'm just going to make sure, just going to double check everything, make sure it's here, and then I'll come back and sum everything up with you in a second.
I am back. So I checked through everything. Everything was in, in the order. So that was fine. Uh, my final rating would probably be a, oof, I guess an A minus maybe. And that was only for a couple of minor things. Uh, there were four items that I was a little displeased with. Uh, no, I won't say displeased. I won't, I won't say displeased, but here, let me explain. Okay, so there were two items that they substituted, which was fine, that they make substitutions, but I just kind of find it hard that these items were not in stock. I have never ran into one item in particular being out of stock, and that would be the um, Kroger pulp-free um, orange juice. And so they said it was not in stock and that they replaced it with the Minute Maid, which is fine because that's supposedly an upgrade. It's a name brand uh, rather than the Kroger, but uh, I love the Kroger. The Kroger tastes good. But anyway, they gave us a Minute Maid, which is fine, and it was at the lower price. They didn't charge us the higher price. They charge you the lower price when they make substitutions, which is great. So um, I was not displeased about that. I just find it hard to believe that they did not have the croaker. Um, so it's fine because I get to try something else. I almost wanted to go up there and see if it was really out. Sometimes I'm, I'm thinking, okay, I'm, I'm wondering, is there a, a 17 year old, you know, actually pulling the order and do they really look really, and I know that they're trained and everything, but do they really, you know, know like a, a, a particular person would want these items and especially if you've specified because I specified that I did not want squishy or burned bread and you all know sometimes bread is darker than at other times this is not super dark but and it's I, I can't even say that it's squished but it has that deep V in the middle which resembles a squished and it's kind of squished on the side but it has that deep V to where it goes down in the middle of the bread and your bread is not at its regular size. Uh, it's harder around these edges up here and it's real hard right here. And I'm like, I put that on the paper specifically. No squished bread, you know, please do not squish the bread and uh, make sure it's not, you know, burned. I guess I better make sure I say hard next time either. But these are clearly pointed and hard. This is pointed and hard, and this is almost like crusty. I mean, I can barely. So I wasn't happy about that, so I have to go back and return that. Uh, the lotion squished out right away, so that means someone has tried it already. So, and I don't like that. I just don't grab stuff off the shelf. I am very particular, which is one reason why I was skeptical about trying it. Um, and I'm not trying to be overcritical. I'm just saying, as a customer, these are things that I look for. When I grab something off the shelf, I always make sure it's, it has not been opened or tried or anything like that. I will reach back. I'll try the pump, but I'll reach back and get like the fifth or sixth one back, you know, and all that stuff. Um, the packages, I don't get like the rip banged up packages and stuff like that. You know, some people is like, oh, that don't matter. It matters to me. So um, anyway, this was one that they substituted. I had originally ordered the Alexia Julianne Cut Sweet Potato Fries. And uh, those are the ones that you've been seeing me get and that I love so much. They didn't, they said they didn't have those in. And I'm like, they've been there basically every time. <laughs> but you know, they gave me these Pick Sweet Farms um, sweet potato fries, a straight cut, which is fine. Um, they are sea salt, and if they don't have um, the particular item you want, they will substitute it for an item, basically just another brand or whatever, but the same. Like the one that I usually get has sea salt in it, so they gave me another brand with sea salt. So that's fine. I'm, I'm hoping I like it. I'm, I'm almost sure I will. I'm sure I will. So I will try to let you all know that. So basically that is it. Those are the only things that I was kind of displeased with. The process on the computer, whether you, I don't know about doing it on your phone. I wouldn't want to do it on my phone because you know, some things you can't see at one time. You have to go to different places to find this and that. On my desktop, you can see everything clearly and where to click and you know, all that stuff. So I enjoy doing it on the desktop. It is a very, you know, efficient process. 
um, let's see what else. It goes quickly once you get it set up and everything. So next time I'll be able to just click, 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 click and breeze right through it. Um, the process was quick going to pick it up. It took like a little bit less than 10 minutes. Uh, by the time I called and they came out, he went over the substitutions with me again. They already had texted me before I picked up the order and told me that they were going to substitute these items and was I okay with it. And I said yes and then he double checked with me when I got there. And so they gave me my estimated price because when you check out they give you the estimated price just in case you have ordered something like on a Tuesday because their circular goes to like Tuesday night and then Wednesday they start a new ad, a new sale ad. So if you ordered it on Tuesday to pick it up on Wednesday, you get Wednesday's prices. So that could mean your the prices went up or down. So anyway, that did not happen to me. I ordered it and picked it up on the same day. Um, so anyway, uh, and I gave him coupons, my paper coupons. I gave those to him. He took, they have this little machine with them and he took the coupons off and gave me a new receipt. And um, this is what it looks like. The click list receipt looks a little different than the Kroger receipt. This is what they gave me when they first came out to the car with the estimation receipt. And then when they take the um, coupons off and give you the final, then they give you this click list receipt and you can do returns and all that. Whatever you got to do, you can do it from here. Uh, let's see, am I missing anything? Uh, I think that's it. Uh, you pay online when you order. I mean, you give your credit card. It has, you have to pay with a credit or a debit card. And um, I did that when I checked out of my desktop computer. You, you present your card with a number and everything on it and of course it's supposed to be safe and all that stuff but um they give you an estimated price and then they actually take it off of your card when they when you get there when you get there and the order is complete uh let's see i think that is it uh if you have any questions please let me know uh, i enjoyed the process though of it being quick and efficient i was just kind of displeased with these two items the bread and the lotion and just couldn't believe that the <laughs> the pulp free Kroger brand wasn't in because it's, it's like always there but uh, I've never run into it not being there I don't think but anyways fine like I said because we got a minute made and it got minute made at Kroger price so that's good and hopefully I will like this so and it's free your first click list orders are free your first three orders are free so I got two more um, orders to go as, you know, it being free. So I enjoyed that. And yeah, that, that was it, I believe. So like I said, if you have any questions or comments, please put them down below and I will answer you. Um, if you're new here, subscribe. Click that thumbs up. Click the notification bell. That way when I upload a video, you'll be notified right away. Uh, share this video to someone who is thinking about the click list and is not sure like I was. <laughs> so they can get a clear view of what's going on. All right. Love you guys. I'll see you next time right back here on Tracy's Place. Bye.